kilo All around the free hoe All around the free hoe Ay. I just wanna know, baby If I hit your phone Is you picking up? Baby, welcome back to the channel, it's your host, the most homeboy, double and crushed homeboy TV, and welcome back to the channel. Now today we're headed back to New York City, but instead of the typical, like we're gonna go running around stores, today we're doing something a little bit different. We're headed to this event. It's uh, by Depop, I want to say, or Bump. It is by Depop. It's by Depop, and basically they're gonna have it's an eight-hour event. They had it yesterday. I was gonna go yesterday, but I was just way too tired after all the easy releases and editing all these videos. Uh, so I'm going today Sunday. We're gonna link up with Harlem Reseller. We should be he should be going as well. Uh, so there should be some cool events going down. I know Goldie Got Leo is gonna have a DJ set there. Uh, we could be making our own T-shirts. Not entirely too sure what the whole thing is because I don't really know anyone who went yesterday, but this should be an exciting day. We will run some loops around per us because, like, you know, I got to. I got to run around some stores. We might head to Palace. Probably not Supreme today, but we are going to go to Palace, uh, Nike, and all that because it's literally right around the corner from the place because this is on Broadway in Soho. Uh, so I'm going to catch you guys in the city. I'm about to hop on this train in about 20 minutes, and I'll catch you guys there. Ladies and gentlemen, yo, check this out though real quick. Palm Angels Monk Pair. I'm getting this poster for sure. It's still a little bit soft. That means that means my boy was just out here putting these up. So I'm gonna text him to see if he can get me uh, one of these posters. Uh, but we better head down to Soho because uh, that's where the actual thing is. The actual event. And then we're gonna head to Nike though beforehand. I expect undercover shit to still be sitting because uh, they just dropped on Nike. Not room for profit because with tax it comes out to 180. They're pretty much going for 180. So not like worth at the end of the day but we are here in the city it's a beautiful ass day ftp on body new newly released t-shirt oh it's gonna be a good day we're gonna learn some good stuff i'll catch up with you guys in soho probably on the iphone because i'll be inside all right ladies and gentlemen i just went out to the adidas store right now you know i might as well try ask them if they had the yeezys they're like yeah we got them i was like no fucking way they actually got yeezys out here bro they pull out the 700s i'm like yo why are you playing me right now like this why are you playing me bro but uh, they only had a size 9 and 13 in the uh, Vantas, in the 700 Vantas. No, a size 350s the employee. I was on the employees and they said they can't even get their own pair. So uh, it's an L for that. But right now I'm headed down Mercer, right down there. It's a beautiful sunny ass day. Down by the link with Harlem in a second. Then we're going to head over to the uh, Depop event, which should be pretty exciting. Yo, we got the raid still available, but the wrong ones. Everyone's camped out for the wrong ones tonight. We got the air fear raids right here, the, the mids. Put those back up. We got some 720s out here, bro. These 720s, I right, though. Eh, they're all right. Not a big fan of them, but hold up. Check out these. These Air Maxes are like a vin little vintage play on them. The Tailwinds. Supreme did bring them back with the collaboration, but you know. All of, overall, 160 forms is a little just too much. Damn. In hand view, bro. In hand view. Still sitting, still available. Blue pair. The retail price is cut out, though. And then we also got the black pair right here. Shout out to Puerto Rican Parade right now, coming crazy in the background. 160 for these. Overall, not terrible. The cage is a little just too crazy. And that me. was an unfortunate wrap on that. Uh, today is Sunday, so yesterday was the Fury God pickups. I think at least it was yesterday, but I don't know. That's why there was a massive line outside. The front. Not massive, but there was like like 10, 12 people outside waiting for a possible restock, but wasn't there. But I might be copping a pair of the B True 720s. They're not flipping for that low. They're doing all right. But I'm about to head into Palace right now, see what they got. And update you guys if anything. Two hours. Out of there, ladies and gentlemen. So we did secure a light little bag today. First time I ever actually got like an actual bag from Palace. They always give me that tinfoil shit. But um, so as you can probably assume, I did cop the sneakers, which we will unbox when I get home. I might do like a whole separate review on them. I don't know. I don't think really that many people care about them. But I did secure them just because... Uh, I don't know. I kind of, I like them. I don't think I might keep them. I might keep them. I might flip them as well. So I'm not, I'm not entirely too sure. But right now I might just head to Supreme and then we're going to head over to the uh, event on Broadway. I don't know where exactly, but we're finna find it. All right, guys. So I think I am here. We can look across the street. That is the building, the Depop Alive. I'm about to hop in there, uh, see what they got. So you're supposed to got their own like screen printing tees or something. I don't know. But I just went back to Palace. Had to exchange the item, bro. I felt bad, but had to do what you had to do. And I'm about to hop up in here. Damn, this shit kind of crazy, bro. They got some cool pieces over here, though. Some Tommy Hill figure. What else? They got some Ralph Lauren Polo Sport. Prices are type crazy, though, with like $120 for that. Bugging. Ooh, ooh. Why? Why? Some Kooji. We got some Kooji on deck. Bro, $325. $340 for some more Kooji. Coming crazy. Some Kappa. Oh, nah, Chief. Oh, nah. This is coming too much. Too much. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was like hipster central right there, bro. I, it was kind of funny, but um, it was dope. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a lot different than uh, what it actually is. It's basically just a room. They have like a few influencers out there. My hair is a mess right now. They have a few influencers out there just selling clothing. You guys saw some vintage pieces over there for sale for crazy high markups. They give you like five dollars off though as soon as you entered if you have the app downloaded. Still, not so that five dollars ain't saving you much over there. But um, I might head back later for one of the talks. Right now, I'm about to head to Supreme, see what they got because I know I'm sure a lot of you, well, not a lot, but some of you are interested to see what they got in stock. So, about to hop in there and see what they do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are here. Ah. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, I just want to check. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the crinkle jacket. Uh, we got some more stuff. Not a big fan of any of it. To be honest with you guys, we got the Raider stuff right here. And I don't know. I don't know. How much is this? Oh, we got a gray tag. We got a gray printed tag XL. And then we got the pants as well right here. Not bad, though. The material overall, it's not terrible. Three different colorways, and then that's about it. So we got this boy right here. Large brown colorway. I didn't even, oh, that shit ugly as hell, boy. Stripe, 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 paisley. Ooh, this is like the athletic label. Gore-Tex is still here. The polo is kind of fire, though, not going to lie. I do like this polo right here. And then that's about it. Damn, keyboard. Ooh, letter in the Swan Boys, size large, ringer tees, these are quite five. Six and a half hours later. Tiny ass bag secured though, hold up, hold up, I'll show you the story real quick. You guys can see it, and then boom, there it is, that is the location of Supreme on Bowery. And we out of here. We're out of there ladies and gentlemen, back on the camera, so Supreme was actually kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Not in a crazy like wild sense, like oh I'm about to make hello. Hella breach today, but in the fact that there were a hella restocks. There was a shit ton of restocks on a bunch of older stuff. Uh, not really that much older, like a few weeks ago, even all that. I did I managed to cop some stuff, uh, nothing crazy. It was under a hundred dollar purchase, but nothing gonna unbox everything when I get back home. And Harlem actually just woke up. That dumbass bozo definitely just woke up, bro. He was like, Man, it's 1:30 p.m. I went to bed for a quick second. I was like, bro, you crazy. So he's about to hop down here and then we about to link. I'm gonna go head back probably to the deep hop area. This is what I, I slept on this piece when it first released. You guys can see it's a cream patch on this one. This one was actually just in store, which is mad funny. 220, weird ass tag. Where, where is it? Hold up, hold up. Yo, this t shirt is fire, bro. Honestly, no cap, I've never seen it. You don't touch my shit. Nice ass one. The color is not it though, so I don't fuck with it. But yo, these items. Oh, bro, and these are kind of crazy. This shit just looks mad messy to learn the backing. This is a size 14 to 350. Not terrible. I mean, they got some crazy steals on the t-shirts, but these just not it for me today. Damn, son. Damn, son. That shit crazy. Oh, the cops are with it too. That shit is wild, y'all. I know the cops were with this too. Yo, 10 likes on this video and I'm popping this. $3,500 right here. 10 likes, 10 likes on this video, that's all I have. Yeah, this shit crazy. Bro, look at all of these. We got PEs, Oregon's. We got a bunch of shit out. A massive, massive grill right here. 350 size lemon. They're actually not terrible. I thought these are brand new. These are dead stocks for sure. It's not actually that bad, to be honest with you. I actually might just have to buy them. No cap, no cap. Well, psych, that shit was really dead. They were selling that shit for 550 I don't know how I could have read that wrong so badly, but uh, I'm back on the iPhone. Honestly, I like filming on the iPhone so much better because I can see myself actually while I'm filming, so I know I'm not really fucking up like I normally do. But, um, yo, so as I said, we went to Supreme, we went to Palace, we went everywhere, but we back at Premium. Yo, I can't wait till this shit opens up again, bro. Right there, I can't wait till this opens, bro. It's gonna be a movie. I mean, not really. It's gonna be the same old, same old shit, but like, What's weird is like, say last season, on a Saturday, there'd be a lot more people out than they are right now at the other store. But that's also because the other store is bigger so they can fit more people in. 
They also just hold people outside the store for absolutely no reason at all. Uh, just to have them draw up a line, which causes a lot more people to line up because they're like, ooh, a line. Let me go ahead and hop in this. Now, I'm about to go take a little thumbnail real quick in front of the Supreme store, so I'll catch you guys uh, in a little bit. Actually, Harlem's coming down. I'm about to go to Apple, finish uploading this freaking live cop. Not live cop, what the hell am I? I'm so used to coming out on Thursday, and I'm always uploading a live cop, but the actual Yeezy Boost review, so make sure you check that out. Hopefully, it gets up soon, but I'm going to catch you guys uh, probably with Harlem or somewhere else in Soho. Two hours later. Out of there, ladies and gentlemen, look who the fuck is back, bro. <sighs> Finally, right? Look who is back on the channel, bro. This dude has not been in. He has been inactive I've been on. Cooking, that's why. Oh, he's been cooking, bro. How many pairs of the uh, Trill Blacks? Easy Blacks. I had ten retail pairs. Ten retail pairs. Retail that effect. I know people that I got none. Oh, yo! If you guys are new to the channel, his page is at Harlem, like Harlem, New York, reseller. Right after that, and he cooked up crazy, bro. He posted a really dope picture of it. Uh, props to you, bro. Props to you. He 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 worked hard for him too. Like Clay's out twenty five pairs for retail, but it is what it is. At least I got. I mean, like what eighteen hundred that day. Yo, big moves, big moves. If you're in the Discord group, yo yo yo. And then um, but uh, if you guys are in the Discord group, you guys be able to cook even more. Am I right? Checking codes, checking codes. Yep. I checking give out free codes for at reservations if you guys didn't know. Exactly. Yeezys. Yeah. If yeah. Know, if you want to DM me on Instagram, I don't respond to that. Give me up on Facebook. Yes, yes, right, right. there. Right there. Up, oh, hold up, it's gone. It's oh, gone. Shit. Series oh, on. Oh, oh. Show oh, that, no, show no, that, no. show that, show that. There you go. Boom, there you go. I'm on Facebook. He'd be helping everybody out there in the streets trying to secure pairs. So um we're about to head down to the Depop event. The main talk I wanted to go to with Gully Guy Leo. Uh, so we're about to see how interesting it gets. It's about to be like how to build a business from your bedroom. So let's get it on the side of this whole shit. Depop, bro. Damn. Now I'm no longer using the application. Depop. Damn. Yo, was that Air Mag? Pause. Oh, shit. But fuck Depop as well. <laughs> All right, everybody. Oh, uh, shout out Kith, bro. I've never been to this little Kith right here. Uh, that's the um, that's that's, got shit. That's kids, kids though, right? Yeah, kids. Don't yeah, got word. Shit. So, yo, everybody, we about to hop on the subway real quick. He's about to cop a little personal, personal piece right I here. Shoes, like I'm wearing. Oh, he, he needs chocolate. Out. Chocolate. Out. I can't wear these no, more. <laughs> no, sir, no, sir. So he, we about to go cop a pair of some Jordan ones. The reason why it's best to cop at foot sites and like foot stores is because you can build up like points. Oh. Okay. And Champs 10 minute account. Champs, it helps with like 10 minute uh, for, for reservations and all that. So we're about to take the subway, hop up over there, probably chill around over there, and then who knows what the night brings. Yeah, yeah, put on that brick, please. Put on that brick. Put the toe, okay? Put, up, put that brick on, yo. He's putting on big bricks as per usual. But we also got these sixes out here. But this man, bro, that's man on feet. Straight to feet, right out the store. And that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. We are officially out of New York. Um, oh, we're not officially, but we're about to be. I'm about to hop on the PATH train. This time at 33rd, and I'm gonna go ahead and take it down to Newark. Nah, nah, nah. This oh. dude went up to girls, bro, and he said, there's bitches. <laughs> Tommy, what's wrong with you, bro? Yo, he's cabbage, bro. He's not even telling bro. the truth, bro. Nah. No, 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 no. no. Is this? Yo, relax, bro. We got naked cowboys at Times Square, bro. That shit exciting. The old town road right there. Uh uh. We got horses out here. Horses in the bag, fake asses, everything. Um, but yeah, yo, I'm about to go home, unbox everything for you guys, and I'll catch you guys at the crib. Don't make unnecessary journeys. Don't take risks on treacherous roads. We broke the law! Hell! Jalen, what do we do? Joe, what do we do? We oh, broke the loop, bro. We got too loopy. We burnt the establishment. Yo, no, that's not really that funny, but like, she was kind of crazy. The first come first serve off white. Those are the mo the blue ones, bro. Those are the blue AF ones, bro. That shit crazy, bro. That was wild, bro. We smelt, we smelt that burnt shit, and we came across it. And we're like, what the? F Dude, that fire was crazy. You guys saw it. We put the establishment in the blender and put some gasoline on it. Flick that lighter on, bro. I don't know. That was just crazy, bro. And like, wow. Luckily, no one got hurt. It was just the. It was. It was. I think a, it was the kitchen. <laughs> it was. It was really just a building in construction. And we're finally back home, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Well, welcome back to myself. This is currently Monday afternoon. The day after, which was yesterday, we saw crazy fires. We went to Supreme. We went to a deep pop event, which was actually kind of garbage, in my opinion. Oh, uh, they didn't let you back in. 
some weird ass thing. I don't know. Like, you didn't expect you to stay in there for eight hours. Shit was confusing to me. Posted up the re easy review. People got hella mad over the freaking Nike socks and the thumbnail. That shit had me weak. And I did tuck in the pants just to emphasize a little bit more that uh, Nike is over Adidas. Now I'm playing. Adidas did kill that shoe, not gonna lie. But I am <clears throat> back here to unbox you guys what I ended up picking up from the city. Now, it wasn't anything crazy. We did get a nice little palace bag right over here. Uh, we also did get a little Supreme purchase right over here. You guys saw some of the crazy-ass restock. Not crazy, but there were different restocks I did not expect from to even have. Like, week one tees were in there. You guys saw the uh, Leda tee. There was a keyboards tee, that Suzy Switchblade tee. There was some other week one tees, bro. I forgot which ones, but there was some more stuff. The Red Drum jersey was in there. The Bomber jacket was in there. The denim jacket was in there. A lot of good stuff. I mean, not good, not crazy good stuff, but just some good items in there from Supreme that I was surprised to even see. But first of all, I do want to talk about Palace. So I did go to Palace. Did pick up a sneaker from the very recent collection, a collaboration, I should say, with Adidas. You guys can see right here, that is the Palace and Adidas logo. The box is a bit moist right now. It is raining outside. Uh, but the Palace Superstar, this was $130. This is a UK 10, US 10 and a half. Polar. Palace Superstar. I, I don't know why I said Polar, but uh, there you go. This is what the tag be looking like. $130, $141 with tax. Not a crazy ass sneaker, but um, you know, it's it's a nice simple. It's too, it's a little too simple for me though for this collaboration. Like that's what Palace and Adidas typically do. They do a very simple ass sneaker. Um, you know, it's simple. It's alright. I mean, that's what they focus on. That's what they like to do. Also, Palace isn't like some crazy. I mean, isn't a brand that focuses on over branding itself with collaborations. They like to do little subtle stuff, which I appreciate as well. Very uh, very much of a UK type approach to these. But I know like a lot of brands from like say Supreme, like they like to put their branding a lot of stuff. Like that's why the Birkenstock uh, collaboration never happened because that shit was just. They want, I supposedly from the Brokenstock owner or creative designer or whatever, he said that uh, that Supreme just wanted to overbrand it. And I was, I was surprised at that statement actually, but that's what it was. But you can see Adidas on the back right here on the side. You do have palace and not embroidered, but stitched into it in gold little font right there. We got the little Adidas toe box. And on the actual tongue, it has a very nice, it has not a nice one, but like a long skinny ass tongue on the front. It does say palace and then has Adidas. The, the Adidas Trifrig, I mean not, the, the palace Trifrig is on the front and it says Das... Hold up, hold up. Das logo Mies Palace never gets old. So you guys can see on the tongue right there. That's really the only Palace brand you have besides on the side right there. Oh, actually, this is a Triferg on the back. I didn't even realize that. That's a Triferg. And this one has an Adidas logo on the back. I did not even actually realize that until now. On the inside, it is actually mismatched. Oh, that's cool. So this one, Adidas on the back. Palace on the insole. This one has Palace on the back. This one has Adidas on the insole. I mean, this one has... Adidas on the outside, <laughs> Palace on the insole. Uh, this is, as I said, a US 10 and a half. They're not flipping for crazy money. I actually might be keeping these. I just like them. Uh, I saw prices were going all right for them. Uh, but, you know, quality overall is pretty nice. It's a cheap shoe. I mean, it's not cheap, cheap, but it's like not a terribly expensive shoe for a Palace sneaker with Adidas. Not that bad. Overall, I'd rate it. Eh, it's all right. I mean, sizing, I didn't even try it on yet. I'm not a big fan of low top sneakers, but, you know. It's, it's good to sometimes change up the approach to fashion. Uh, but the only thing I do else have in here is like a little Depop book right here that they gave out. NYC Subway map. We do have $5 off at the Depop event, which is cool. I respect that. But they did do $5 off any purchase at Depop. Basically, influencers or other people that were it's not sponsored but brought in by Depop, they could come in and sell their stuff. And I got three different stickers from Palace. They'd be hooking up nicely with the stickers. And then last piece we do have from this unboxing is from Supreme. You know, what is in stock Supreme? Normally Saturdays, but this time it was Sunday. Damn, they'd be dubbing me now. They'd be stingy with the stickers nowadays. And then literally in front of me, I saw one person actually end up buying the box logo sticker. I haven't seen that in a while happen. He spent $2 on a sticker, bro. Let me tell you, that was kind of wild. But uh, here we go. This is a $38 purchase right here. You guys can see size large. We are about to get into it. Nothing crazy once again. It is a very simple little pickup, but it is from week one. So I was like, you know what? I might as well just purchase this. This is Letta and the Swamp, but in the red colorway. I do have the black colorway originally from week one. That's when I had DSM Spot. I actually did make a full vlog of that as well. But this was only $38, no tax. If it's under $100, which I really do appreciate, and you just say Supreme Fine Arts all along. It does have that very graphic image of the swamp coming into Letta's uh, area of sorts. You know what I'm saying? You guys, I mean, I'm surprised. I mean, I'm not really that surprised, to be honest. Supreme has come out with much more graphic uh, t-shirts and 
art and fashion and garments and all that good stuff. So I'm, it's all right. I mean, a personal though, but yeah, possibly large fits me pretty all right. I like to wear larger XLs. XLs are giving me like more comfortable fit. I know I just be rock. I actually rocked FTP in this video. Now I gotta go back to Carhartt, the also oh classic Carhartt. But honestly, that's about it for this pickup. It was a light day, only a hundred and uh, sixty seventy dollars spent on this day, so not that bad at all. Hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. We went all around the city. There wasn't really crazy much stuff to do because I normally don't go in store Sundays. But also, you know what? I might as well. It's a fun-ass day. And today, I knew Monday was going to be raining, so I wouldn't do anything outside. So I was like, you know what? Might as well. We saw that crazy-ass fire, bro. That shit. Was... What happens when you burn the establishment in New York, ladies and gentlemen? But anyways, that's it for us the most. By the way, I do got... We still do got the Sean with a Spoon giveaway going on. I know it was going to end, but a lot of... I do still have to get back to all my messages on Instagram, so we are going to be postponing it a little bit later for the actual ending of it. But free giveaway right here. All the directions will be right up here somewhere. And also, the premium Discord. Now, there were some issues in the premium Discord, all that. A new admin team is in. We do got new stuff coming in, a lot better stuff, trust me. It's a little bit more expensive on my end. I do got a lot more expenses to pay, but, you know, just as long as the customer satisfaction is up there, I'm happy as well. So, hope you guys enjoy this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys... Having a great ass day. Hope you guys have a good one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.